Hello everyone. Today we gonna learn payment gateway integration in Android. But before that, we need to understand what is payment gateway and how it works. What is payment gateway? A payment gateway is an e-commerce application service provider service that authorizes payment for e-business online retailers, bricks and clicks or traditional bricks and mortars. Example online cards. Whatever you are purchasing online and paying for that is happening by payment gap gateway. Before going to payment gateway, first we need to know the following terms. Which are related to payment gateway. First, e-commerce. Second, web service. Third, payment process. E-commerce means online shopping of anything. An example of that is Amazon, Alibaba, Flipkart, Snapdeal, eBay. These are the top e-commerce sites. Electronic commerce commonly known as electronic marketing. E-commerce consists of buying and selling of product or service over electronic such as internet and other computer networks. Web service. A web service is defined by the W3C as a software system designed to support a interoperable machine-to-machine -machine interaction over a network. Accessing every web service, we need an API, application programming interface. Service is a platform independent payment process. A payment process is nothing but a transaction of money between the user and merchant, owner of the product. In payment process, we need, there are two types of account. First, business account. Second, merchant account owner. Online shopping example. The payment gateway workflow should be inserted before the checkout. After the confirm order page will the payment gateway workflow be active. First, whatever you need to purchase add to your card which is available in every shopping website. Second, you proceed to checkout then your account info will show your address and all. Then you will confirm the order after that payment option will show and you have to pay by online by net banking or card or you can even choose an offline payment option etc then after successful payment your order will confirm working of a payment gateway visitor place the order on the website and it is sent it to the merchant web servers in encrypted format this is usually done via ssl secure socket layer encryption content organization the transaction detail are then forwarded to the concerned payment gateway the transaction information then passed to the merchant acquiring bank by the payment gateway Merchant acquiring bank then forward the transaction information to the issuing bank, one that issue the credit card to the customer. The issuing bank send the response back to the payment gateway. The response include information that whatever the payment has been approved or declined. In case of the decline, the reason is also sended in the response. The response then forwarded by the payment gateway to the merchant server. At the merchant server, the response is encrypted again and it relayed back to the customer. This allows the customer to know that whatever the order has been placed or not. The entire process typically takes less than 5 seconds. So here is the flow of the payment process. First, user place the order then it go to the merchant web server then merchant web server request to the payment gateway then it go to the payment gateway then payment gateway request to the confirmation to the bank then bank transfer the money to the merchant account if it is successful and no error will come between that response and that time then bank responds back to the payment gateway then payment gateway responds back to the merchant web server then merchant web server responds to the user in which you, you will get the order successfully placed. What is SSL? SSL stands for Secure Socket Layer. Payment Gateway encrypts sensitive information such as credit card number to ensure that information pass securely between the customer and the merchant. SSL uses HTTPS protocol. Types of Payment Gateway 
there are lots of payment gateway available around the world some of the famous and most usable payment gateway are PayPal authorized was signed link point to check out world pay cyber source protex eBay Mondries QuickBook Paytm Mobiquick Stripes advantages gateway can provide many benefits with its main benefit being security we recommend it to all our customers that they use a payment gateway to handle all credit card payments while VPS ASP does provide a credit card number encryption and can ensure that the software is secure. It is still stored in the location that a hacker may be able to access whereas when using a payment gateway the credit card information is sent directly to the bank for verification and therefore no credit card details are stored. So it is in the time when the info is stored hacker can hack that card but chances are very very low because it is so much secure in addition to the security payment gateway also provide the following benefits credit card validation and processing in real time less fraud but there are many stolen credit card number floating around money is normally deposited into your bank account automatically no need to do uh, other things so it is much easier and much faster and it is using globally nowadays gateway disadvantages every gateway company charge fee fee can include some or all the followings fixed fee per month percentage fee per amount spent a fixed fee per transaction in addition your own bank or gateway bank will charge a merchant fee for the privilege of allowing credit card purchase this can range from 1 to 5 or more thank you very much for watching this video in next tutorial i will show the paytm payment gateway integration in android if you like the video please hit like button and share subscribe comment it will be great appreciation from your side if you do that thank you very much